Hey YouTube, it's me Empress E and I am back with another one for the Sagittarius. Fire signs, we got empathy. I am seeing both sides to a situation. Okay, so you guys are opening up to see both sides to a situation. This situation could have to do with trust. I accept that my inner voice will guide me correctly and self-esteem. I possess the gifts of the soul that benefits me and others. Okay. So you guys working on your self-confidence. And then we got forgiveness that flipped over on my lap. I acknowledge the harbor of resentment blocks the flow of love. Okay. Oh, it's some sticking up under here too. Honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Bottom of the deck, judgment. I understand that everyone had their own unique path and challenges. Okay, so you could feel like you're being judged by somebody or you feel like relationships. I am attracted to those that serve my highest good. Okay, so you could have somebody dealing with self-esteem issues. Want you to have empathy for them. This is somebody that you could have trust issues with because this person wasn't honest with you in the past. And, you know, this is somebody that you could have forgave before you know what i'm saying now you're using your better judgment or this is somebody that you consider it forgiving no i think this is somebody that you're using your better judgment for you know what i'm saying because under here is freedom okay somebody could have been juggling a situation or you could have been juggling with a situation it's a lot of feelings on the table yeah this is you fire sign or you could have been juggling this situation with a fire sign this is an aries leo sagittarius but i feel like this is you you juggling the situation you know this could have been a passionate situation but it's a lot of lies and deception okay and this passion is coming out of trust me so somebody could want you to Trust them. I accept that my inner voice guides me correctly. And this is just saying, use your intuition when it comes down to all this passion and, and what it is that you trust because somebody is not being honest with this uh, seven of swords coming up under this honesty right here. Okay. So you could be passionate about something and want to move passionately forward towards something. This is just saying trust your intuition. Okay. Work on your self-esteem when it comes down to being, you know, these entrepreneur type ideas, business ideas, business endeavors, and just having that self-confidence and self-esteem to move forward. Okay. You could be juggling a situation or somebody could be juggling your feelings. You know what I'm saying? Having you playing that sympathy card. You know, wanting you to be empathetic toward them and their they situation. Or you could be very empathetic toward a lot of people's situation, which got you juggling a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? But you got somebody here that's not being honest. What we got with this forgiveness? Okay, so we got a tower here. So somebody could have been a broke, uh, a breakup happening, or somebody could have, you know, had a, a something happen in their situation where they lost something, or something could have happened that caused catastrophe. You know, and they want you to forgive them for it. Or this could be a relationship that was broken up, and you got somebody that. It then created a tower that broke up a foundation and you want somebody that want to forgive you. You got a fire sign here. A quangle wands. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that you felt that matched you. You know, somebody that you felt you could be victorious with, but this person was toxic. Okay? Which caused you to do some introspection when it came down to this emotional offer. Top of the deck is a higher level of commitment. So you was looking to have, you was trying to have strength to have this higher level of commitment with this person.
but um this just caused further indecision and um a lot of competition you know somebody want to win at all costs You looking towards your blossoming abundance, uh, Sagittarius. I don't know why I want to say Leo. Okay, you don't know how to move forward when it comes down to your stability in this blossoming abundance. Okay, being grounded and working toward this blossoming abundance, but the door to spirit is open. Okay. This is just telling you to rest and rejuvenate, and we got two cards that fell out here. Because uh, somebody could be dealing with a broken heart. And this is the third chakra, Archangel Shamuel, which deals with that self-confidence and self-esteem and um, self-determination, you know, moving forward toward this door to romance. You know what I'm saying? And use your intuition when they come down to this door to romance and these contracts. We got sacrifice. Use your intuition when it comes down to making these sacrifices and these cuts. For this door to prosper, for this prosperity to begin, you got to deal with these temptations and remain balanced. Okay? Uh, somebody could see you as, uh, see your prosperity beginning. And they could tempt you and catch you off balance to get pregnant for this passionate night. And that's the truth. Real talk. Because this person, they want this foundation and achievement with you. And they see that you in solitude. They see that you pulled your energy back. But they want this love to begin. You know what I'm saying? And you could be in the process of letting this go. You or your person, uh, Sagittarius, take the energy how it go. But this is just saying, use your intuition when it come down to sacrificing something. Wealthy man. There's going to be a message of concern, or you could get a message of concern from a wealthy man. And we got 13 and 14. We got adjudication at the bottom of the day. Okay, so somebody want to get married to come into this sudden wealth. Uh, you could feel like a marriage could bring you sudden wealth. I don't know. But somebody with a mo some money finna send a message. Ooh, that flew across the flow. Something that ended coughing flew across across the table on the flow. Okay, so so <sighs> there's some type of unconditional love, giving, receiving affection. So you falling in love with somebody, paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, wantfulness, enjoying each other. So you want to enjoy somebody. The door to romance, they're open. Somebody got marriage on the brain. Woo, I done hit my knee. I don't know what that took my breath away. <sighs> so in order to do what I'm seeing here is because this 11 and this 12 is, st is standing out in this 13 and this 14. So in order to get this sudden wealth, 
some sacrifices need to be made in order to get this money. But there's going to be a message of concern. Somebody is misusing their power, some type of father figure. We got somebody trapped in the closet dealing with the eviction, fake friends, but somebody's sex is off the train. They could be a little irritating. Okay, you got a P and somebody in their ego. Somebody could be rocking colorful hair, could be hating this person is fraudulent. They light-skinned it. They could be telling little white lies. You know what I'm saying? And they don't love you. They love what you can do. Okay, this person probably looking for a booty call, but we got five, five, five change of freedom out here. And I think I did see freedom or change. Yet yeah, I was freedom. Somebody really don't care. They're a baby shark. They out to get what they can. And you are a sunflower. We got a G. Somebody overgiving to compensate for their insecurities. And we got money coming in, but somebody is unmotivated. So, 222, alignment, balance, and collaboration. We got a tarot card reader here. Somebody is going to have a heart attack or somebody needs to check their heart. Somebody that leaks some information could be a tarot card reader leaks some information. We got choices. So it could have been some choices that was made in August. Somebody got some prostate issues. Somebody is looking for incredible harmony with that 2222. Two, two, two. Somebody is a criminal. And who is playing you because somebody is living a lie? They fake balling, trying to impress. They wearing a mask. But you got true supporters. You know what I'm saying? Somebody is dabbling in love spells. We got an H here. It's time to invest in yourself because you got true haters. Real talk. Somebody addicted to drama. We got a Gemini out here and we got a money call that's coming in. And somebody is greedy and they reflecting on their past actions. Uh, reflecting on the past they're regretting their actions. Somebody got an STD. And there's a coward. It say, I'm a coward. And we got a king here. Somebody is very much so protected. Protection, grounding, and manifesting. But we got somebody that want a baby. And they say, give it time. Take a break already. So they could be you or somebody else. But this is saying, get creative. Because somebody is a hoe. And somebody is trying to distract you. Somebody could be in their 40s. We got a W, we got divorce, and we got can't teach your old dog new tricks, and we got loyal, and somebody is a player, and we got 20 year old here that want them in YouTube, but somebody is also paranoid. Okay, and they ain't learn shit, and I'm just gonna leave it right there. Okay, Sagittarius, this is you guys reading. If you like it, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I'm Empress E. Thank you guys for sharing this space with me.